What's going on my Turner Club? Today we're gonna check out how you can play and participate and maximize the Yokohama event from where you are because some of you guys and most of you guys are probably not in Japan with me, but I want to help you max out, get the most amount of shinies and contribute towards the best event and the grand finale of the events for GoFest this year. So welcome to the Trainer Club, here we go. Welcome back everybody. Let me know in the comments below, how are you doing with these shiny increase spawns right now? Because the shiny spawns are increased for Yokohama, there is changes to these spawns to help you out and there are exclusive researches to help you get better quality and better chances to get a better quality shiny. So today we're gonna look at every single thing that we have to know about the shinies, about what we need to do, about the research tasks, and what my best chances to help you maximize on these increased shiny rates that are globally happening right now. Because I am in Yokohama, Japan. If you haven't seen any of my videos, you can definitely check out the vlogs if you wanna experience GoFest, or if you just want to check out what is going on in Japan, how it looks like, we are doing that right now. So without further ado, hit that sub button, and let's get right into my top tips to help you max out on everything that's happening right now. If you guys don't know, which I'm sure everybody does by now, the Poliwag is the global spawn that's gonna be increased. And since this event in Yokohama is going for, I believe it's seven days, if I'm not mistaken, you guys are gonna have a ton of time to get a ton of different shinies. So, the one thing you also have to do, I don't know if it's global or not, but Giovanni was photo bombing us yesterday here and the cool thing was is that we were able to do about 100 photo bombs per day to work on that metal. I know that metal is kind of tasking. It's going to take everybody quite a bit of time. So we were able to just doing photo bomb, photo bomb, photo bomb. So if that goes global after GoFest is finished or if it's just local, definitely check that out. Make sure to try to do those photo bombs. See if Giovanni will then photo bomb you. So let's get into this right now. So number one, we want to make sure that we are hunting as much as possible because we want to try to get the shinies. Poliwags, number one priority right now because it's the newest shiny and it's gonna be boosted the most right now. I don't know about its actual shiny rates because I'm pretty sure all of the rates are pretty boosted, but it's going to be the one to get right now. The additional boosted shinies are going to be Pidgey, Psyduck. Obviously the Poliwag, we have the Horsey. We have the new shiny that just got released for the rocket that is super awesome. I was fortunate enough to get three yesterday is going to be the Sneasel. And then we have Swinub, Wingle, Whalmer, Anorith, Lovedisk, and Drifloon. So those are the shinies that you have if you want some of them, my number one priority is to just click on them as many and as much as possible. But when you are not playing, I highly suggest that you are running a Gacha, a Plus, or a Pokemon Go Plus, whatever you want in the background to make sure that you are auto catching Pokemon. That is my biggest, biggest tip that you can be because oftentimes when you do this, you look into your bag and you're like, oh my gosh, I got a surprise. Look at this shiny Pokemon, right? And you can delete all the other trash. It's great for saving up Stardust. So this is definitely what you want to do. Play as much as possible to try to get these shinies because all shiny rates are going to be boosted. So this is the best time to look for shinies in Pokemon Go. So my tip number two is going to be do as many and as much of the research as you possibly can. The reason why I suggest doing this, number one, because it's going to contribute to the astronomically high goals that we have for this event. We need to do 25 million research tasks per team over the lifespan of this event and then in the event they need to do two million. So you need to do as many and as much as possible because the Stardust event is the number one game changer that we absolutely must have for the events this year. The one hour star piece along with the three times catch and three times hat Stardust is going to be an absolute game changer. What I suggest focusing on is all of the GoFest global tasks because you are going to be able to get one of five Pokemon that are gonna have a shiny chance, meaning you can get any of them. So there is no rhyme or reason behind these. Once you do the task, it's going to give you a random one of the five different Pokemon that we have. So we're gonna break down what those Pokemon are and what the 100% IVs are. For the five shiny potentials that you could get or the just regular Pokemon, we have the Poliwag, we have the Lotad, we have the Tailo, we have the Swablu, and we have the Snow Run. So the 100% IVs correlating to each of these are, for the Poliwag 100% IV, we are looking at 355. For the Lotad, we are looking at 256. For the Tailo, we are looking at 328. For the Swablu, we are looking at 353. And the Snow Run, we are looking at 380 for the 100% 
100% IVs at level 15 for all these Pokemon. So that's why I'm saying to just do as many tasks as possible. Number one, because you have the shiny potential. Number two, they're pretty, pretty easy tasks. If you can see right here, they're pretty, pretty simple. So definitely get out there. And then it gives you the possibility to get a good chance IV for these shinies. So also there are some other boosted Pokemon that are correlating with this event, which comes to my tip number three is make sure to maximize on the remaining shinies external of just the event spawns and the tasks. So here we go, we are looking at the complete list, which is gonna be Anorith. I know we've covered some of these like Drifloon. We have the Horsey, the Kabuto, the Love Disc, the Murkrow, the Natu, which I definitely need that Natu. I'm gonna be looking out for that one. We also have the Pidgey. The flying is associated with the Yokohama. That's why we have the boosted potential shiny Pokemon for the flying type right now. Then we obviously have the Pikachu with the hats, which is gonna be my tip number four. We'll get to that in a second. Then we have the Poliwag, the Psyduck, the Shelder, the Sneasel, which we covered, the Swine Up, which we covered, and the Whelmer, which is definitely one to look out for. That purple is super cool, as well as the Wingle. So make sure to get out there, play, click, catch, get all the Stardust. It's extra Stardust. Don't just click it and run. Click it, catch it, and then go on to the next one because you want to get that Stardust because we are leading up to an amazing Stardust event, which you need to have your star pieces for. If you want to make sure that you are buying the best box for it right now and for the raid passes, you can check out what I think about the current box up here. All right, everyone, so <laughs> it is hot out here, man. I'm starting to sweat doing this video for you guys, but it's totally worth it. So from the 6th to the 12th, if you haven't already seen, we are going to get a new different type of Pikachu wearing a hat every single day, depending on where you are. And I haven't seen any graphics really that break down what exactly Pokemon we're gonna be getting on what day. So just go out there and click every single Pikachu that you possibly can because you're going to be able to get the shiny potentials of all these. I'm gonna give you a list of all the Pikachu with the hats right now, which is the tip number four of how to help maximize on this because number one, you can trade and get the luckies of these guys. Number two, these shinies are pretty rare and very valuable, especially for trading. So we have the Christmas hat Pikachu, we have the floral hat Pikachu, we have the party hat Pikachu, we have the witch hat Pikachu, we have the summer hat Pikachu, and we have the ash hat Pikachu, and the detective hat Pikachu. So this is the best time to get yourself a shiny Pikachu with the hat. They are super rare, like I said. Definitely something that you guys want to be looking out for while you are playing. So click as many Pikachus as you can. The only thing is you have to realize that you have to transfer this with the double transfer so you cannot max transfer them so that's the only downside to doing all of these Pikachus and my final tip is gonna be do the friends gifts event as much as you possibly can meaning you have to send your 30 gifts per day you have to collect your 20 gifts per day and distribute them to all your friends tell your friends that have not been active with gifting who you want to get XP for and best friends to rank up because the lucky friends are the best commodity in the game so if you want to see my full event video that has to do with all of the gifting you definitely want to check it out up here because it's super valuable it's more more valuable than you think because lucky friends in my opinion along with stardust are two of the best commodities that you can absolutely have more of and a lot of you can never have too much stardust you can never have too many lucky friends because the trading is going to be essential so what I suggest doing is hatching eggs and what eggs I suggest hatching are going to be the eggs, the seven kilometer masks as the two kilometer eggs when you open the gifts. So what's happening actually, if you do not know, the seven kilometer eggs that usually take seven kilometers for two weeks are gonna be taking two kilometers to hatch. They're gonna look exactly like the two kilometer eggs, but they're going to hatch the potential they get a baby shiny as well as some of the Alolan shinies as well. So this is why I'm saying to max out on this event, get out there, get as many shinies as you can, stack up on the Stardust, contribute towards the research because we absolutely must have this increased Stardust bonus in Pokemon Go. So that's gonna do it guys. I appreciate you guys tuning in, being a part of the Trainer Club, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing my videos is the best way to help me grow my channel. I know a lot of you guys are like, dude, you deserve more subs and this is the best way to do it. Help me share my videos to more trainers, your friends, anybody that's looking to be a better Pokemon player because we can help them in some way or another. So thank you additionally to all my Patreon members. I appreciate you guys taking your subscriptions to the next level. You know what I'm gonna do? I hopefully will be doing raid hour tonight in Tokyo with the YouTube squad and we're gonna get some shiny Rayquazas and of course, I'm gonna see you guys out on the next video. Peace. I just wanted to take a moment and sincerely thank every single person that decided to take their subscription and their support to me to the next level as a small channel and really trying to grow and hit new levels and be able to travel and really meet up with a lot of my fans and the communities around the world and the US especially. I just wanted to say that your support really means a lot to me. It helps me out and I greatly appreciate you for being a part of the Trainer Club. Thank you so much.